Hey there, I'm going to walk you through my 30 ounce stainless steel tumbler. This is created from the hog tumbler. I ordered one of those and, and took photos of it and created these mock-ups, uh, this mock-up out of that. I also have the 20 ounce tumbler, which I uploaded recently and more to come. Um, the hog brand is fantastic and very popular. So I'm going to walk you through how these layers work. And if you've looked at any of my other walkthroughs, it should look pretty similar. Um, this should be looking familiar to you. So what we have here is we have the tumbler I have um, contained inside this folder. So it's easier to kind of move around and drag to other documents and whatnot. But you can always open up the folder and see what's inside. We also have a background here that's just for you to see. It's white. You can save things on a white background if you want or not. I also put in just a colorful blue layer so you could see more clearly um, the edges and how things look uh, using that if you'd like to. So let's open up the main folder and look at all the parts inside. So one special feature of the 30 ounce is that not only do I have the light lid leaning here, but I also have a dark lid version because you can order either one of those from the hog site. So you can see there's a little bit difference in how they look, you know, and you might be selling one or the other, or you might have one as a little bonus thing that you sell. And you could even sort of lean them up against one another like this for your mock-ups if you want to sort of show that idea. Um, so you can always just leave this stuff in the folder and you can move it around at will and never even open the folder or you can look inside your folders. I think it's fun to explore. <laughs> so I suggest looking inside everything and turning stuff on and off to see what happens. So this has a little bit of a reflection that's right here on the tumbler. You see if I turn it off, it looks like that, I turn it back on. There's the lid itself and then there's the shadow underneath it on the floor. There's also an option to add the lid attached to the top of the tumbler, and that is inside this tumbler folder down here. And we have it right here, it says top lid. So if I turn that on, then I suggest turning off the leaning lid here, because you probably wouldn't, want, wouldn't show a mock-up of the lid attached and a lid leaning in front too, unless you're offering two lids. So just keep that in mind. Some other features just at a glance that you might notice here is we have a stainless steel strip on top and on bottom. Those are in these layers right here. This is the base layer, so you can turn it off if you want if you don't do a strip down there. And you can turn the top layer off as well and it's just fully encapsulated in color. For what's the design on the front of the tumbler, that is this layer right here which is called your smart object layer. And to edit that, all you have to do is double click inside the big left square. It opens up a new tab that's called .psb, has a name called .psb. And I have um, some text in here that I just use for my mockups. You'll hide that and you will paste in your design or your cut file if you've purchased one. Um, you can just drop that in here or if you're designing right in Photoshop, which is probably not what you would be doing, but maybe you would, um, you could go ahead and just start a new type layer and type away in there. Um, so that's an option too. But just remember anytime you make a change, like for example, I've hidden this layer, a change has been made. If I go back to the original, it looks exactly the same because I didn't save. So go back to your new tab. You can see this asterisk in the corner means I haven't saved yet. Go up and hit File, Save, or use your keyboard command. The asterisk goes away. You go back to the original and now it's gone. So if you had gone in here and pasted in your new design and then hit Save, it would be showing back on the original image. I'm just going to set it back to the way it was and hit Save and close it. But on our main image here, I am going to hide that layer by clicking on the little eye. So that way we can just see more clearly for the rest of this little tutorial. All right, so now we've worked through most of these top layers. There's also this layer right here called Shine Boost. It says it's optional. You can turn it off and then things don't look quite so shiny and bright. Or you can turn it back on. So it's really just totally your preferences and you're welcome to look inside that folder and see the parts and pieces that are inside of it. I usually leave it on. 
and then I just don't touch it. Then we have our Tumblr folder, which has the Tumblr itself, it is in there, it has our top lid. There's a layer here called Glitter Overlay, and you can't see because my layers palette is kind of skinny, but if I make it a little wider, you can see it says Optional. So if you do sell something coated with glitter and you feel like this is a fair representation of what your glitter looks like, then you can turn that on. And it looks nice with the smart object on top of it too. I'm gonna leave that off for now. And then we have some color options. We have the stainless option, a gold gradient, a single color, two color gradient, and a three color gradient. Right now it's on the two color gradient. If I turn that off, it just looks like an empty cup. <laughs> so you're going to need to at least turn on the stainless steel layer right there. So that would be your just like plain stainless steel mug. If you are a tumbler, if you are one who likes to just put um, vinyl on top of that, then it might look something like this. Below that you have the gold version you have a single color version. I'll show you how to change the colors in a sec. This is what the two color looks like. You can see it's kind of pinkish down here and purple on top. And the three color where it's a teal to a pink to a purple, which is my favorite. Um, in any of these layers, you can go in and play with the colors and the hue and everything. So you just double click on the color layer. It brings up a gradient fill box. Click right inside where it says gradient. It has this little rectangle. Click on that. It opens up a new box called the gradient editor. Inside of here, all that you want to worry about are these squares that are sitting underneath this little gradient strip. This is where you would pick a different color. So I've clicked on this far left square and I could totally change that color. Maybe I want it to be red. And you can see that the far left square basically is the, the top of the gradient. Um, and the far right square would be the bottom of the gradient. So if I click on the far right square, I mean the bottom of the tumbler, and I picked another color, you can see that's where that color is applied. So essentially the way I've created this stainless steel coloring in here is I have a shade of gray up on, on this end, which is the top. I have a different shade of gray in the middle. It's just this middle part of the tumbler, and then the far right is the bottom of the tumbler. So that's how you edit any of these um, gradient color options. So it would be the same thing if I hid that and I showed the two option gradient, double click it, and then click in there. I can go ahead and change these colors if I want very easily. Super fun. And you can drag in this window. Um, just play around. You can always download the original um, if you feel like you've completely messed up the file. <laughs> so you always have a backup. And then, what's next? Okay, so below that Tumblr layer, we have our shadow. So you see if I hide this, you can see this is what the shadow looks like when there's nothing in front of it. So we can hide it or we can show it. And this is with the shadow kind of going off to the right. There's also a shadow left version. So you don't see any of this part underneath the tumbler itself. You really just see this, the, a little bit of the hint around the edges um, when the tumbler is turned on. Or you can just leave it off and that's cool too. So I hope that gives you an idea of how this file works. At first glance, if you're kind of new to Photoshop, it might be a little intimidating, but really just play, you know, make a copy of your file really just play around in there, see what happens. As you're going through these layers and you're looking inside of them, um, take a look at this box right here. Um, normally it just says pass through, but where I've played around with some stuff, like on shiny streak, you see it says overlay. Or it says normal. So you can play around by choosing things inside this little drop down if you want. And I encourage you just to play around and have fun. Um, but you can also just do this at a very basic level. Um, you know, maybe you don't have any color, you just have stainless steel, and you just want a way to show your design on top of it. And that's cool too. Oh, I forgot to mention another thing. As you're doing your smart object layer, which is the vinyl or the etching or whatever that you have on top of the tumbler, what if you don't want that to be white? What if you want that to be a different color? 
Well, that's very easy. So on this layer, there's a little drop down arrow right there. If you click on that, it opens it up and you can see I have an effect layer on this. I turned that on, I added that. It also says FX over here to give you a hint. By clicking down here at the bottom of the layers palette where it says FX, this is where I added a color overlay, okay? So if you wanna edit that color overlay, there's a few things you could do. You could hide it just by clicking on the eye next to the word effects. And you can see it goes back to the original dark gray color, or you can show it, or you can double click on color overlay and it brings up this layer style box. And you can see we're in the color overlay section. And in there, it's hard to get this out of the way, um, we have, we can change the opacity. So you see it's like, the opacity of the white that's on top of the original color is what I'm changing. So as I make it lighter and lighter and lighter, it starts to go back to the original color because it's like we've laid white on top of the original color. Or you can change the color by clicking inside this white box and just picking another color. And you can see how super easy that is. So that is another feature that you probably want to know about. Um, one more tip I'm adding to this video is, okay, so if we're inside of color overlay and we wanna make it look like this is vinyl that's stuck to the front of the tumbler, what you can do is you could add a little drop shadow here. It added just a hint underneath just gives a little bit more definition to the edges and then it kind of looks like it's stuck on there more and if you play with where it says opacity in here because your settings might be different from from mine I think they should be the same if you purchase my file but you can make it darker so you can really see it there or you can make it lighter and that works too I'm just gonna hit cancel because I'm not gonna add that but that is one last tip for you that you might enjoy. And then usually when I'm done, I like to collapse all my layers so it looks neat and tidy. And then we're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. And we'll check me out on Creative Market and on Etsy or over at my website at saradesign.com. Happy selling!